Uh, ladies and gentlemen, um, this press statement today, this afternoon, um, is as a result of the release of inmates through presidential amnest uh, to commemorate the 63rd birthday of His Excellency the President of the Republic of Zambia, Mr. Dr. Edgar Chagorungu, who is also Commander in Chief. Um, and as you all know, today he is celebrating his birthday. And therefore, to commemorate his fate birthday, His Excellency the President of the Republic of Zambia, Mr. Edgar Chagorungu, like I said, who is also the Commander in Chief of the Armed Forces, as today, the 11th of November 2019, exercise his prerogative of mercy on four inmates, four inmates, based in various correction centers in Central, Wapula, and Lusaka regions. The four names are as follows. One, Derek Singera. Two, retired Lieutenant General Christopher Singogo. Three, Mr. Maxwell Mwale. And four, Mr. Phil Dimwewa, who is also Chief Mulongwe of Sanfe District in Luapura Province. The exercise of the prerogative of mess by His Excellency the President is in accordance with Article 97 of the Constitution of the Republic of Zambia which provides for the presidential pardon and substitution of severe punishments imposed on convicted persons. The Ministry of Home Affairs, staff of the Zambia Correctional Service, and inmates of the correction facilities throughout the country are grateful to His Excellency the President for exercising the prerogative of mercy at the time when the correction of facilities are extremely congested. The few released today will help reduce the congestion and encourage other inmates to behave better in anticipation of being pardoned someday. The staff of the Zambia Correction Service is confident that the pardoned persons have been rehabilitated and are ready to reintegrate in society. Successful integration of former inmates, however, largely depends on the support of members of the immediate families and communities of the former inmates. We accordingly call upon the families of the pardoned inmates and members of the public at large to support the former inmates by not discriminating against them. This is essential to give the pardoned a second chance to find their feet as law abiding citizens. And I think this gesture of love by His Excellency as he celebrates his birthday is worth emulating by many of us as citizens of this beloved country. Thank you very much. Gentlemen. Good afternoon once again. Good afternoon. I, I just wanted some form of clarity. Uh, I've been monitoring social media and other media networks just on the statements that you've, uh, you've issued. Another one came from State House that amongst the people that have been pardoned includes uh, one uh, Kafumba Mungoto of the Barotse Royal Establishment. I, I notice he's not amongst the four. The list I've given is the final official list, and I'm sure you are aware. Over the years, you have come here yourself as a senior journalist. Any pardons are released in this month, just like I've just done. That's an official list that uh, you should take. It's signed by me here. Yeah.
So if there was another statement, maybe uh, uh, it's, it's overtaken by this one that I've released.